early January this year, His Excellency President Dr. Muhammad Irfan Ali commenced the National Enhancement Exercise, which seeks to promote a cleaner and healthier environment for all Guyanese. What we've done today is basically the start of a national cleanup campaign. Okay, you know we had several cleanup campaigns before, but today is not only Georgetown, all right? This is a cleanup campaign that is in all the regions. In Tong today, we have 26 officers and just about 390 ranks on the Ghana Defense Force. And we have 100 ranks on the Ghana Police Force that are engaged in cleaning between Pegasus and Camp Street, and they've also committed that every month, um, they, well, this is just George Tong, but police countrywide are doing cleanups too. It's a good exercise. It's something that not only the government should be involved in, but the people, the private sector, and I, I see some private sector um, agencies are involved in this modern exercise, and we expect that the participation will grow, so you'll see more private sector um, agencies involved. But more than that, we need the community and the community leadership throughout Guyana to get involved in cleaning up their community. One businessman shared his thoughts on the government's initiative in promoting a greener Guyana. Look, we all must play a role in helping the development of this country. So to move forward, if we can come out on Sunday, not even half day of our time, use our equipment, some of our workers, we put our hands together, we should get our country, you know, where we want it to be in the future. So what we do, we actually grade the side of the shoulder of the road and then use a loader to scope up the debris along the road so now the water could drain off. Playing a pivotal role in the National Enhancement Exercise are members of the Guyana Defence Force and the Guyana Police Force. Let's hear their thoughts on the initiative. We'll be hoping that by the time we leave, that when persons come to the East from Belt Market, they will be amazed at the transformation that took place. So that, that's our intent here. We are here out here to support the um, initiative to clean this country up. The force um, as a whole even the joint services as a whole, we lead by example. And this here is a continuous um, process in which we're going to be advocating for a clean environment. Based on the government initiative in terms of cleaning the entire city and other parts in the country, this morning we have embarked on this exercise headed by the Commission of Police, Mr. Hicken. Um, we had about 100 ranks and some of our stakeholders from some NGOs and some new groups who came out and we started cleaning from the Camp Street to the Marriott Hotel. Um, as you can see, it was a success and um, this exercise will continue on a monthly basis. Every last Saturday in the month, we'll come out and clean. Likewise, countrywide, all our police divisions across the country will have done the same this morning. So we are part of this initiative in keeping our country clean, healthy, and safe. Joining the Prime Minister were several members of the Cabinet. Let's head over to Shaquan Gill, who is with Honorable Susan Rodriguez. Thanks, Shania. We are here just in front of the CARICOM Secretariat, where Minister Rodriguez is leading a team of Guyana Defence Force soldiers in the National Enhancement Exercise. We'll talk a little bit with Minister Rodriguez to hear her thoughts on this event. The goal of this exercise, while we may clean up this area today and perhaps tomorrow um, 
people might come and litter again. That is not the point of this cleanup. The point or the goal of this is to start a national movement, is to bring awareness um, to, to, to people that littering is illegal, that if we want to transform Guyana, we have to start with the little things. So government has a huge transformational agenda, of course, but if we can't get the little things right, if we can't take pride in our surroundings, um, then we wouldn't see the Guyana that we all desire to see. We'll now check in with Natasha, who is with the Minister of Tourism, Industry and Commerce, the Honourable Onij Walram, in the East Rheinveld Market area. Natasha. Thank you, Shaquan, and we're here this morning at the East Rheinveld Market, and we're here at Minister of Tourism, Industry and Commerce, Onij Walram, as she participates in today's National Enhancement Exercise. For the citizens, for them to see that even on this level, at the ministerial level, the um, high-ranking officials at the, in the army, everybody can get involved and everybody can lend a hand into beautifying and make, keeping our city and our country clean and um, ridding it of the garbage that, is, you know, that has become a, a real bugbear to us in our everyday life. that is to keep our country clean. It's for the obvious reason. I mean, we can't have or want a nice country and then we don't, it's not clean. So this is an initiative that is supposed to be able to transcend into, into communities and have persons be able to take pride in their surroundings and their environment. We've always been a government since 2020, August 2020 coming in here, that keeps our feet on the ground. Ears on the ground, feet on the ground to be able to um, address concerns and likewise with this initiative we are on the ground doing it ourselves as well so we're not dictating to anyone you know while we stand up there and supervise this is we are part and parcel of this uh, country and community and we are also going to partake we want to be able to encourage citizens in their community to come out and clean your own uh, your own house your own yard your own carpet uh, your surroundings and if we do it as a collective we would be able to achieve what we want which is the cleanliness that we want to be able to live in in comfort right so um, we want a nice country let's get out there and do this development to change some of our habits too so that we could get to a place where um, we don't have this kind of cleanup that's necessary we are calling on people not to litter it is our country it is not someone else's country we're not doing this to someone else when we do it we do it to ourselves and our children and the information and science on how litter affects um, the environment and the people who occupy that environment is clear, it's in and it's unhealthy and nasty. Outside of being um, ugly to the eye, it actually is dangerous and damaging to us as a people. <laughs> 